Morning everyone. Me and Scarlett are just walking along, taking the dog for a walk, and Scarlett has found something pretty awesome sitting down here on the top of the bridge. What have you got, my sweet? It's a badger toilet. <laughs> badger toilet? No way. Let's take a closer look. Despite us being right next to a stream, look, right on top of this bridge here, we've got this. This is a badger toilet called a latrine. I know that's pretty grim, and most people would walk by that and go, oh my goodness, look, it's a pile of dog poo. But it's not actually dog poo at all. This is badger poo. And badgers, because they're communal, meaning they live together in groups, they, um, they often poo together because they think it's the safest way to do it. Rather than doing their poos everywhere and uh, essentially contaminating their own territory, they are a bit like humans. They've got a communal toilet, knowing that, right, everyone just goes to the loo, does their poos, and then they can leave it all there, knowing that when they're out in their territory, they're not going to be treading in it because everyone knows where the toilet is. What's really, really cool about latrines is that you can actually see in the poos what the badgers will have been eating. As I look around in here, there's some really sticky, slicky ones. That means they've been eating blackberries. And also there's lots of seeds and bits and bobs in there as well. Lots of husks. There's stones as well. So I assume they've probably been eating damsons, which are wild plums. But here we are in the late summer. We know there's lots of fruit around and clearly the badgers have been eating the fruit, which is brilliant. So there you go. Even though it's pretty grim and pretty icky, the poo being here is evidence of what the animals are up to this time of year, that they're actually feeding on the fruit and the seeds that are around this time of year. Right, I think we'll carry on on our gorgeous walk now. I'll speak to you soon.